Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to Overtime. This is Maricel Casino Rivera, and uh, it's a Monday episode, and I'm sure you're going to like it. Attorney Oscar, uh, Moreno, please join yeah, us. Yeah. And, uh, mayang hapon. Salamat, Chel. Mayang hapon. Good afternoon, and uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome. Welcome to our Monday episode of Overtime. This is a daily program begins at uh, about 1.30 to and uh, for an hour or subject to overtime as uh, the circumstances may warrant. And uh, this afternoon, we're starting a bit early because, you know, our guest is in Los Angeles. LA, in, LA. in California. Yes. And uh, we, we have to beg for her indulgence and we'd like to thank her for accepting our invitation. Sel, no? And our journey, our journey this afternoon is, wow, uh, we will look into, uh, I don't know, uh, a life of uh, a journalist, pero hindi ordinary yung journalist. Yeah. Uh, Magna cum, uh, cum laude graduate <laughs> sa UST, no? And uh, uh, kasama ang kanyang husband who's also into journalism. And uh, they went to the USA, and now uh, uh, she is involved in wow uh, a major international event in the world of cinema. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we are very fortunate to have her as our guest this afternoon. I'd like to thank her, Sel. Please do the honor of introducing our special guest, very special guest. Yes, thank you, Attorney. And uh, I'll just do this very briefly because we'll talk about our guest later on about our guest later on during this show. And um, our guest is an accomplished journalist and the first Filipina voting member of the Association of Golden Globe Awards. With a journalism cum laude degree from the University of Santo Tomas, she has held various positions within the association, becoming the first Filipina executive secretary and treasurer. He is, uh, she's based in Los Angeles and is renowned for her work as an executive producer of the Golden Globes for four consecutive years and is a Hollywood columnist and correspondent for GMA7. She's a board member of multiple film festivals and a co-founder of the Manila International Film Festival. She's recognized by the Filipino Women's Network and she was honored with the President's Lifetime Achievement Award in Journalism by President Joseph R. Biden Jr. in 2022. She has received numerous journalism awards, including the Journalist of the Year by the Filipino American Press Club of California in 2022. She has interviewed Hollywood A-listers and, co and co-authored the FWN book, Disrupt, Filipino Women, Proud, Loud, Leading Without a Doubt. She's married to a journalist, Robin V. Nepales, and they have two daughters, Bianca Nicole and Rafaela Angelica. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome is Janet Susan Rodriguez Nepales. Hi, ma'am. Welcome to Overtime Po. Hello. Thank you very much for having me. I'm so happy and proud to be in your show. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Janet, if I may call you that, no. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank you for accepting our invitation and i know you have to stay late uh, tonight in in hollywood in la uh to uh give way to this uh program and we are eternally grateful and of course uh sell uh, golden globe awards yes, no? golden globe. and uh uh wow see janet is uh executive secretary yes. and treasurer first filipina ata yeah first filipina <laughs> and uh ano siya, no? She's, wow uh, how did you uh or let me put it this way the uh, journalism graduate cum laude sa ust and uh, her husband is also a journalist and what made you decide to move to the us of a uh, janet it was because of love, you know, that I followed oh. Ruben. Ruben wow. was petitioned by his mom, and I followed him. Wow. I followed my heart, and Ruben and I decided to 
you know, raised a family here in Los Angeles. And that's the reason why I came to the U.S. Not really for work, but for love. Wow. wow. Ayon. Because I, I understand that they were classmates. Ah, talaga. No, hindi po. Hindi na. Mas patanda si Ruben sa akin <laughs> ng one year. <laughs> Yeah. At saka, I was taking up mass communications. I was taking up journalism. But I we see. both at the same college of arts and letters. And we were I all see. working in the same newspaper sa USD, The Flame. You know? uh, Pero di kami una nagkita. <laughs> doon na sa USD. Uh, then ikaw, taga Kamuning, si Ruben yes. is from Kuwait. Pagkakundagan Kuwes. man po. Ah, Pangasinan. Hmm. Ikaw naman po, Janet, uh, Tagalog talaga or uh, ang roots mo? Or, Tagalog. Uh, Tagalog. Uh, okay. Kasi ang mother ko po, Tagalaguna and my dad is from Manila. I see, I see. And uh, wow, because of love, ah. ang galing. Ah. And uh, so you settled there and uh, paano naman... Uh, uh, when you went there, uh, so how how did you uh, get into uh, cinema journalism? I have been or... an entertainment writer even when I was in the Philippines. I was writing uh, for Times Journal, and all the celebrities who came to the Philippines, I was interviewing them because I was part of the Sunday paper and uh, magazine, the, the parade magazine. And they assigned me to interview all the Hollywood celebrities, even while I was in Manila, in the Philippines. So when I migrated here, I just continued here. But syempre ho, mahirap mag-start. So nag-apply ka ng mga jobs because nobody wants to give you a break because you don't have any experience. And kahit na-establish ka na in Manila, you still have to start all over again and prove yourself. And of course, I also experienced discrimination and everything. So, but you have to go through and work hard and prove yourself. But once I got in, you know, and, I, and then I was able to prove myself, then everything followed, you know. Galing. Ang Golden Globe is, uh, was, ang first awarding yata sa Golden Globe was uh, 1944. And, uh, Wow. Uh, uh, dalawa lang yan, di ba, sa USA ang talagang very, very famous and uh, followed by the rest of the world, Golden Globe and yung Oscar, Oscar Award, no? And uh, how do they, uh, uh, is it, is there a competition or uh, do you call it a complementation on the part of the two. Yeah, actually, the Golden Globe starts the award season because we have it in January 7, very early in January. And then all the other awards follow, SAG Award, Emmy Award, Grammy Awards, and then the yeah. Oscars. You know, we are a friendly competition with the Oscars, you know. and But somehow, the, Os the Golden Globes, we choose, we choose all the winners and most of the time, they are repeated along the way. So yung mga emotions ng mga actors, pag nanalo sa Golden Globes, very raw. They cry, they laugh, you know. Yeah. Very authentic. By the time the other awards come, nasanya niya sila, alam na nila. <laughs> so, but, so that's the, the good thing about being in the Golden Globes, being the first award show during the award season because you get the raw feelings of the winners. It's new. Yeah fresh so it can also be very challenging that uh, uh being the first uh, for the award season uh in case there are differences i don't know if it had happened in the past no but especially some best pictures uh, uh best male actor and so on no you mga major awards in case uh, there would be differences uh I'm sure the uh, opinion would also be divided, no? Yes. Uh, kumusta... It's okay lang, ho, yung kasi ibang, ibang set of voters ang nasa Golden Globes. Ibang uh -huh. set of voters then ang nasa Oscars. We are proud to say that we're the most diverse award show. 
We have 300 members from all over the country and they are different races, different cultures. And Ruben and I are very proud that we were the first Filipino members of the Golden Globes. Angeling, angeling. And uh, wow, uh, yung, yung sa Golden Globe, uh, ano, no? I, I, I followed it, uh, Janet, and many had thought na Barbie, Liamado, di ba? They had the most nominations yata, no? Uh, pero, uh, uh, panong, ano, panong, how, how was the, of course, yung voting niyan, uh, sabay-sabay ba yan? Or, over a, or do they meet the judges or they just send their votes uh, uh, electronically? We, we send the votes electronically. And we have two categories, one musical comedy and one drama. So sa aming drama, ang nanalo is Oppenheimer yeah. and the comedy is the Barbie. So, but all the voters, they send it electronically and then Ernst and Young counts all the votes. And then we announce it. Yeah, inaabangan ko nga yung Oppenheimer sa Netflix. Netflix. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa eh. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, uh, in fact, even last year, uh, maganda na ang review sa Oppenheimer. No? And uh, uh, I don't know kung kailan lalabas yan. No? But uh, I think a Barbie lumabas for... Uh, uh, Lumabas na rin, no? Yeah. So, uh, yung, yung judges, uh, Janet, how are they selected and who does the selection? We, we are the judges. We are the voting members. We, look, we watch all the movies and we judge the film. Who's going to be the best film, you know, best actor, best director. So, kami ang judges. We are the members and we are the voters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yan yung 300. Yes. And uh, sino ang nagsiselect ng mga judges? Uh, well, I had to apply to become a member. And you, you. Yes, and there's lots of uh, requirements, like you have to show your clippings, you have to be a member of the Motion Picture Association. And so now we opened it up, not only to print, but also to radio, to broadcast, and other, you know, uh, platforms. And it's only not only in Los Angeles, but all over the U.S. So it's, it has broadened. That's why we have more members. It used to be only 80 and now it's 300. Ang galing. Ang galing, no? And uh, so, pati ang ano, no? Uh, yung mga series, uh, kasama rin sa Golden Globe Awards yun, di ba? TV, Yes. We, we usually are the first one also to recognize mga yeah. TV shows. Yeah. Kagaya nung uh, The Bear, yung mga... Uh, yeah. The Beast. The Beast. The Beast. Oh. And other TV shows na hindi pa nakakaabot sa iba, na, na recognize na sila sa Golden Globes. Oo. Oh, oh. Ang ano nga eh, I think ang bagong labas yung Emmys. Emmys ba yun? Yung bagong labas? And yeah. Uh, virtually na na duplicate no na na confirm yung yung how yung winners sa uh, yes. Golden Globe that's what yes. I know. Uh -huh. so, yeah. So we're proud that a lot of Asians also won uh, during the Golden Globes TV and then also for the Emmys. Yeah, yeah, ang galing. Ang ganda ng ano no. So kumusta uh, Janet no ang uh, Philippine movies? Uh, anong tingin mo? Now, I, I'm sure na uh, yeah. although nasa Amerika ka na, you have not lost touch sa Philippine movies. After all, uh, uh, yung gusto mo ring malaman ano nangyayari dito. No? Pero how, what do you think uh, uh, how are Philippine movies uh, uh, how do they perform vis-a-vis uh, yung mga international movies. Generally. Yeah, I think uh, they're breaking ground already, you know, like we're very proud that Dolly De Leon, who appeared in Triangle of Sadness, is already the first Go Pinay Golden Globe nominee. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also, uh, you're talking about Philippine movies, I'm a proud uh, co-founder of the first Manila International Film Festival here in Los Angeles, and we have already the 10 Metro Manila 
films that were showcased in Manila. And I saw all of them, different genres from Becky and Badet to Broken Heart Strip to Kumbursa to um, Firefly Rewind when I met you in Tokyo. So nakita ko na ang dami ng improvement talaga ng Filipino films. And there's really a variety of it, which is really good. And the uh, acting and the script is really getting much, much better. So there is uh, also, I'm, I'm proud also of all the Filipino directors who are joining film festivals because this is the only way that we can really get known internationally. And hopefully also with us having this Manila International Film Festival, we are exposing Filipino filmmakers to the film um, filmmakers and what they're doing to succeed here in Hollywood. So ma expose sila dito sa Hollywood. Yeah. We have like panel discussions of direct film um, directors with Filipino directors. We yeah. uh, united them with SAG or uh, Screen Actors Guild actors with the Filipino actors. So nakakapag-usap-usap sila, nakakapag-compare notes sila kung paano sila mag improve in their craft or how to get and break in to Hollywood and the international stage. Ang galing, ang galing. Ma and, uh, uh, sige, yeah. sige, Sel. I don't know, if, Mom, if our, uh, the indie films is uh, is a new breakthrough, but um, your thoughts about them, Mom? Kasi madaming mga uh, indie films that are really worth watching, and uh, we have so uh, we have some producers and characters also na maganda rin naman, but um, pa paano sila mag improve to really become more competitive globally? Uh, I, I really uh, salute all the indie filmmakers kasi syempre yan, indie, walang budget. But they are very creative and very good uh, acting also, you know. So ang, ang, ang suggestion ko sa kanila, story. Really, story, story, story is very important. You have to have a very good, sto strong story, very good acting, and the overall impact of the movie, you know. Kahit wala kang budget, pero pag maganda ang pelikula mo, mapapansin ka. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, meron nga kaming na-interview a uh, few weeks Shine. ago. And uh, ano siya, no? Yung, he also does, uh, nagde-direct din yung mga indie, ano? Uh, local ito, Janet, taga dito. And uh, sabi nga niya, mga two weeks, three weeks lang yung ano nila, no? Uh, and... Uh, uh, of course, uh, I, I, my impression was uh, uh, ito yung mga marami yan all over the country, I'm sure, na nagaantay na ma-discover. Uh, what would you, aside from coming up with good stories, uh, uh, what else should they do? Uh, meron bang uh, agency dyan sa California, sa Hollywood na they can get in touch with or uh, whatever. Yeah. But act actually, uh, importante talaga yung story. But at the same time, uh, importante then yung exposure mo or marketing. Since yeah. most of the indie films, walang budget yan, yeah. it's yeah. very good to network. Like we, uh, what we're doing right now at the Manila International Film Festival is making all these Filipino filmmakers network with their Filipino American yeah. counterparts. So yeah. this is good. Mahikilala nila yeah. ang kapwa nilang Pilipino na nasa Hollywood na. They're already here. They already made it. And so makakakuha sila ng mga tips on how to get an agent, how to get publicists, how to get exposure in Hollywood. So I would suggest also for these filmmakers, if they could join film festivals and network with your counterparts and learn also from everybody, you know. So this is one good way for the Filipino filmmakers to get knowledge of how to get into Hollywood. Galing. Yeah. Ano yeah. talaga, no? Yeah. Ma'am, um, do you think Filipinos should pay more attention? Uh, Filipino films should pay more attention on uh, incorporating the tourism value of the country dun sa mga movies nila. Napansin lang po natin kasi sa mga, like, like for example, in Korean movies and even Chinese, yung mga products and uh, tourist destinations nila, yun ang nakalagay doon sa, ayun ang na, nandun sa films nila. 
dapat bang Pinoy para may value naman, tourism value naman yung uh, movies natin should really put uh, conscious effort in doing that? No, not really. It really depends on the story. What are you telling about? You know, it could be only like, uh, if you have seen about us, but not about us. There was like no tourism there, but it was just a conversation between two people. It was so excellent that it really, I think it was really so good that it can really compete um, with the uh, Hollywood movies. So you don't really need to be a uh, like tourist destination movie. But it could be only a, a family, a story about a family or a story mm -hmm. about a couple. It, it's not a requirement to promote mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. tourist destinations of the Philippines. So it depends on yeah. what story yeah. are you telling about. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I guess uh, Maricel was referring to uh, young Korean movies would normally show yeah. Korean products. Yeah. Hyundai, other, no, uh, Samsung, yung mga ganon, no? And uh, para bang promote nila ang Korean products, which uh, presumably uh, is premised on these companies are supporting uh, the filmmakers, no? Uh, so in consideration for the support, pinapakita yung mga products nila, no? Uh, medyo ano uh, pero uh, along the way naging nationalistic din ang dating no? and uh, napopromote yung Korean products that probably uh, I guess that's uh, also probably what we could do uh, kunyari uh, uh, nasa restaurant uh, pinapakita ang San Miguel beer or, <laughs> or Tanduay yung mga ganon no? uh, para maano din no? uh, I'm sure there will be uh, those who watch na, oh, that's a Philippine product, no? something like that. Siguro yung support ng private groups uh, and uh, parang ina-advertise na rin nila, uh, they have the chance to advertise their products through film. Yeah, pero nagiging infomercial na yan. For me, uh, I, get dis I get distracted. Like, <laughs> if there's like a plugging uh, and suddenly there's a plugging of uh, a uh, certain uh, thing. You know, because I want to be concentrating on the story. I don't um, want like a commercial in the movie, you know. Okay. So I'd rather have like authenticity, you know. Yeah. What are they feeling? What are the actors doing? Can you relate to the acting or the story, you know? So I don't want any distraction. And if, if they are supporting the film, you could also put acknowledgements after the movie. You put the ad of the product there or or the whoever is promoting yeah. it. Maganda. Ang point niya is quality talaga. Quality. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, lalaban naman siguro din ng Philippine <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, movies. One uh, of these but, days, makukuha din natin yung Oscars uh, uh, or Golden uh, Globes. Uh, and nandiyan ka na eh. Nandiyan ka na. No? And of course, uh, executive secretary. Yeah. Yeah. And, I was and, uh, executive secretary. Sorry, and former treasurer. And uh, Ruben was the former chairman of the first Filipino chairman of the board. Galing, galing. And uh, so, nandiyan na talaga ang, ang buhay mo, basically, uh, Janet, sa uh, uh, film industry. Yes. And, well, I, uh, I've been, I, I love films and I love interviewing people. And uh, I just love the industry. And getting to know everybody and their stories. I've already talked to several film um, actors who pursued their dreams. Una, sasabi ng parents sila, hindi ka pwede mag-artista or mag-ganito, mag sa arts, hindi pwede yan at walang pera dyan. Mag-ano mag ka muna, mag-doktor ka, mag-dentista, mag-accountant, mag-lawyer, pero wag artista, wag writer. I've heard that. But all they do is they try to please their parents. They go through their whole career. And then after they have already passed the bar and took their careers, they pursue what they're passionate about, which is what's acting. In, what's in their heart. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. why I always tell my daughters, I have two daughters, and I always tell them, pursue your dreams. You know, whatever is your dream, I have your support 100%. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, what about the academe here in the Philippines? Um, do you think um, competitive na rin yung content ng, um, ng education yung education natin in terms of uh, the film industry? Oh yeah, I think uh, the Philippines has the best schools and also when when Hollywood people go to the Philippines, they love going there because the people speak English, they're talented, they're educated, they know their way around. So, ang kailangan lang natin more tax breaks for Hollywood films and other films. But we have the talent, we have the manpower, we have the resources, we have the locations, the beautiful locations, we have everything. Kailangan lang ng good tax break. Uh, bakit po ma? May, mal <laughs> uh, is, Kasi, that a, is that a challenge? Yung ibang countries, nag-offer sila ng good tax break. So instead of filming in the Philippines, okay. nag-i-incentive nag sila, doon na lang sila pupunta sa Canada or doon na lang sila pupunta sa Thailand because they're giving incentives to filmmakers. We should yeah. do that. You know, there should be a cooperation within government and the film industry and yeah. um, whatever organizations there are to help the Filipino filmmakers, yeah. also the Hollywood films to come in to the Philippines and bring more business, you know, bring yeah. and give more livelihood to the Filipinos there. Kasi nas, mga Pilipino, very talented and, you know, believe sila talaga sa atin at magaling tayong mag-English and everything. So, the only problem nga, kailangan bigyan ng incentive ang mga filmmakers, Hollywood filmmakers to go to the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. saka yung ease of doing business. Ease of doing business. No? No, madali for uh, filmmakers to uh, do business here in the Philippines to, do, uh, to, to uh, yung mga film uh, making. Now, Janet, kumusta naman yung strikes sa Hollywood? Mabuti na resolve na. Yes, uh, I'm so glad na tapos na rin yung writer's strike and uh, actor's strike. The Golden Globes was actually affected long time ago by yeah, the yeah. writer strike na hindi kami nagka-show, naging parang press conference lang. A lot of people lose business and a lot yeah. of people lose jobs pag may mga strike na ganito. So I, I'm glad na resolved na rin yun. Kasi biro mo, yung mga makeup artists, mga fashion designers, yung mga chauffeur, yung mga limo service, Lahat yan, nawawala ng uh, business. Pag yeah. Wala, wala yeah. kasing award season. Yung mga, uh, kaya nagkakaroon ng ano, dilemma. Maraming nawawala ng trabaho. Hindi lang yung writers, hindi lang yung actors, but everybody in the entertainment business are affected. So I'm glad yeah. that it was resolved. Yeah. Ma'am Naiman, nagpapagreet po sa'yo. Bravo daw, my friend Janet from George Tapan. Ah! Ayan, George Tapan ah, is a good friend. He taught me how to do photography. Yes, yes. Actually, nag guess din guess na guess yes. na oh, oh. yes. na 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 I have your book, George. I have your book. Thank you. Uh, very competitive din kasi I, I remember nasa National Geographic na yata yung yeah. ibang shots niya eh. Yeah. He's one of the best photographers of yeah. the Philippines. The, the Tapan yeah. brothers are all good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, na guest natin siya no and uh, grabe yung mga pictures mga niya pictures no. Mga pictures niya. Uh, talagang ano yung every every line uh, is part of uh, uh, the entire story. Yeah. As uh, I said, the Filipinos are very talented. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, nabanggit niyo po kwento. I think uh you naman that's the soul of uh, a film, eh, yung kwento talaga. But uh, in the Philippines now, nagiging uso na rin yung uh, mga historic, may mga historical perspectives na mga films. Do you think um, dapat yung bigyan ng time and effort and resources yung mga ganong klaseng story? Ah? Kasi naman to reminisce and uh, re re revisit our history and yes. uh, make... Yeah, yes ma'am. Yes, it is important. Like Gombursa is very historical. Yeah. tells the story of the three priests and Jose Rizal wouldn't be able to do El Filibusterismo without the story of the three priests. Yung mga uh, generation dito, yung mga filams dito, kagaya ng mga anak ko, dito na nga pinanganak, nare-realize nila, na-educate sila. You know, yes. we need to tell them the history of the Philippines through films, which is really yes. good. Yes. So yung Gombursa talaga is a very good film. I really enjoyed watching it and uh, the the historical value of it to 
the next generation kasi na educate sila eh. kaya kay importante yan yung historical uh, movies pero hindi siya best uh, it, i mean uh, pagdating sa sine yung mga pinapanood hindi naman siya box office hits pag ganong klaseng uh, plots uh, well it really didn't, it, it doesn't mean that it's a failure because if it reaches some people and educates people it is a success it may not be money making but it touched some people's mentally emotionally and so you you, you have to define what successful is is yes. it just making money or is being able to move people into action or to change you know so that yes. is for me a movie like gomborsa is a success because of what it has done for the kids they are, they're opening their eyes they know the history of the filipino and mm -hmm. how it, it rose to power you know yeah 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 nice nice good oh, oh. <laughs> we had goyo we had uh, in, the, in netflix now ibarra yung mga ganon. so yeah. yeah pero sa sa american movies naman ma'am uh mas mad, mas madali ngayon kasi because of our platforms ngayon na nasa, nasa internet na siya and we have um movie movie uh, itong kagaya ng mga Netflix or etc. Disney yeah, yeah, yeah Disney oh. HBO etc. Oh. so mas madali na siya pero yeah. yung mga Pilip yes ma pero mga Filipino movies hindi masyadong nakakapasok sa mga ganong platforms nakakapasok ang daming Filipino movies in Netflix na and yeah. also yung mga uh, TV shows that are coming to Netflix that fill am like the chef movie marami yeah. marami napapanood sa Netflix na Filipino movies that that is getting yeah. into that stream live stream yeah. diyan nga sa US uh, maraming nanonood ng yung mga noon time shows dito di ba uh, yes uh, ano I, I don't know how they are able to transmit it pero pareho rin siguro sa pag-transmit ng uh, mga American or global networks mm -hmm. into Philippine shores, no? Yeah. So, uh, I welcome I I welcome the live streams and the uh, streaming mm -hmm. agents. Oh. And uh ano rin, uh maganda rin 'yan dahil yung mga bata uh, uh ma maririnig din nila yung Tagalog. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> syempre it's also important that uh, they are not ignorant of uh, their own tongue. Yes. So speak, uh, yeah. And there's also subtitles, so they can also translate whatever yeah. is being said. Yeah. So, yeah. which is good. Uh -uh. May mga videos tayo na uh, we'd like to look at sige, them, sige. sir, no? Uh, may, um, sige. Para mapag-usapan natin with Ma'am Janet. Sige, sige. Uh, ayun. And these are the films that you produced. Uh, ano, um, you produce ano ba to this one is ano gomborza uh, gomborza ito ah yeah, uh, oh but these are the movies probably showing the international <laughs> bakit ako matatakot magsabi ng totoo good evening everyone magandang gabi po ako po si Sergio Juan ili ko lang gomborza January 29 makikita-kita po tayo sa Hollywood dahil ito po ang first ever Manila International Film Festival Cold Visit. Sana magkita-kita po tayo lahat siya mga kababayang kong Pilipino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nung, nung na, na, ano, nabasa ko ito, kala ko kabuhay si Jose W. <laughs> Jokno. Remember? Former senator. Uh, how is he related to uh, the great Jose W. Jokno. Uh, he's he is related. Uh, he is related. Uh, oh, tell it to the son of Che, Chell. Yeah, yeah. And he, he is here, and the cast is here. And Chong D, Cedric Juan, and Pepe Jokno, they are here to attend the first inag the inaugural Manila. Galing, galing. Oh, meron ko pang pinadalang mga videos. Uh, perhaps you can show some of them as well. Sige. Kaniman ganina ta? Ano sa mga ni? 
Happening this coming January 29th at the world famous Romance PCL 6 Theaters. Sharing our great Filipino films on the world stage. We will be there and we hope to see you all too. Ah, uh, sa, sa ano ito, Janet, sa, dyan na, sa uh, LA. Yeah, these are the films from Metro Manila and we brought 10 films and uh -oh. these are going all to be having their LA premiere at the first Manila International Film Festival here in the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. And then magkakaroon tayo ng awards gala ceremony sa February 2 sa Directors Guild of America. And we already chose like Phil um, jurors who are in the industry who will judge the movies. And we will have a separate um, award ceremony for uh, for them. Parang ano, ha? Philippine version ng Golden Globe Awards. Ha? Yeah. <laughs> galing, galing. Uh, halatang idea mo yan. Ha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, Ay, galing, galing. Believe ako, believe ako. Giving... Uh, Filipino film industry uh, the the break na pang ano yan eh uh, talagang historic I would say yeah. break it is historic uh, it's the first one and hopefully the Filipino community and all the members of the entertainment community will support us so we will go beyond Los Angeles probably next time in another city in the US yeah. Pwede, sa Chicago, yung saan marami, you know, mga Pilipinas. And they're all over. They're all over sa yeah, San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. So Ang it's galing, a galing. I, I'm sure they would uh, treasure that, no? Ma yes. Magkano sure. nila, kasama nila, mga Pilipino rin with, uh, yeah. <laughs> with uh, American spouses or families. Ang galing. That's true. Marami mga Pilipino na married to Americans, dinadala yeah. ng Amerikano nilang asawa para manood kasi naman po may mga subtitles. They will understand also the culture of their yeah. spouse. Yes. Yeah, galing, galing. Uh, galing, uh, okay. Ano, ano mo na, naisip mo yan, ha? Ang, Group po kami na maraming nakaisip, Iber. Co-founders. Galing, galing. And, uh, uh, so, ano na ngayon? No? Exciting na rin kung sinong mananalo ng best picture, yung mga ganon, yes, di ba? Yes. Eh, tapos na ang award sa Manila Film yes. Fest. No? And, uh, syempre, yung mga nanalo, kinakabahan ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, oh, it's separated to, eh. We're independent. I know, I we know. We have different jurors. We have different, I know. Films, you know, judges. So, when I say, doesn't mean <laughs> manalo sila dito or maiba, you know, depending sa judging. Ang, pro so. ang problema niyan, Janet, baka mas credible yung judging niya. Man, ang parameters ba niya? No offense yeah. meant, ha? no offense meant. <laughs> Pero ano, eh, dahil siyempre, excuse me, dahil uh, siyempre, mga ano yan eh, uh, experienced jurors na yung uh, nandyan eh. Yeah. And uh, mga, some of them may even be jurors at uh, Golden Globe and uh, even sa Academy sa uh, Oscars Award, no? Yeah. So, I, I'm sure... Good experience po sa mga Pilipino to be able yeah, to yeah. see this competitiveness, you know. It's it's a good, friendly competition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ano ko, pero ang worry ko dyan, uh, you might be able, of course, you will certainly be able to do it well na talagang very credible and uh, unquestioned integrity and all that, no? A eh, problema kung baka nalihis doon sa, <laughs> sa mga... Dahil... Sorry nyo ho, ang, ang MIFF uh, manalaman natin sa February 2 kung sinong mananalo, kaya... Panuorin niyo sa aking Facebook page o yeah, sa aking, we will. <laughs> sa aking Instagram. Ay, nako. Ito yung sinasabi ni Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Pero maganda yan dahil uh, alam mo ang observation ko dyan, Janet. Uh, next time, dahil they know that you will do it in LA, next time they will do it here, uh, they better be sure na yung mga declared winners uh, 
are the truth. <laughs> Di ba? Ano yan eh? Uh, may check and balance. Yeah. Uh, that, that's good. That's a very good idea. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I do realize na yung ginagawa mo dyan, it might look uh, na LA confines ya, pero you are indeed upgrading, improving, enhancing Philippine cinema. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. That's the yeah, mission of the Manila International Film Festival to uplift the Philippine cinema, to showcase okay. the Philippine cinema, and to highlight, and also to make them collaborate and yes. coordinate with each other para ma-improve ang yes. Philippine cinema. Malaki ba? Maganda ito. Uh, yeah. sa, ano, sana we will have uh, a Filipino or Filipina winning uh, uh, Golden Globe Awards, uh, Oscar Awards. Pero yun yung last year, yung Asian winner, di ba? Yes. At least malapit na nun si Dolly De Leon na uh, nominated na siya. Yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah. Wow. Sad na lang. We saw her first time in Cannes and we didn't know anything about Dolly and then we even searched for her. There was nothing written about her and then finally we met her and interviewed her and then everything started rolling. You know, she became so famous. Now she's doing movies with and uh, with movies everywhere with in Hollywood. Galing, yeah, galing. so oh, eh, si Dali. Eh, yung mga sikat kasi na artista dito yung... <laughs> <laughs> Ma, yeah. Uh, ma, mag, how to... Pa, paano nagkakaiba ang criteria for judging ng different uh, award-giving bodies? Ah, Siyempre kasi iba-iba ang uh, mga members of the awards bodies, right? Iba kami, the Golden Globes, we're all uh, like Hollywood foreigner, and then the Oscars are mostly based in, you know, the U.S., you know, but kami all over the world. So, iba-ibang taste ng tao eh. So, nagkakaiba-iba ang mga decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Kasi depende sa nanonood, no? Nag-judge. Yeah. Kasi, yeah. Are you more into stories or uh, what about cinematography? Uh, oh, yeah. Ibang, uh, yeah. Yung aming, yung aming uh, awards, kasama yan. Best cinematography, best screenplay, you know. Best actor, best actress, best picture. So kasama lahat yan. Importante ang cinematography. And we're very proud to have Matthew Libatik, a Filipino-American cinematographer who was nominated for the Oscars for his work in Maestro. And mm-hmm. I'm so proud of Matty. We call him Matty. He's a good friend. And he's also breaking barriers. So we have actually marami Pilipino, magagaling yan, pero hindi pa sila na-highlight behind the camera. So... Yeah. Mati Libatik is one of those people behind the camera who is well known here in LA. Anong anong nomination si Mati sa Maestro? Uh, cinematography, yeah. best cinematography. Yeah, napanood, napanood ko, Maestro. Napanood ko yung Maestro, uh, yeah. very very compelling, ah. Huh? Yes. So Filipino pa lang cinematography kay Mati yon. Filipino pa lang cinematographer noon. Yes. Wow. yes. Galing, ha? Yes. Galing. Tapos nominated siya sa Oscars. Pangat, pa, pa, pangatlo na niyang nomination to. So hopefully this is the lucky one <laughs> na manali. Wow. Oh, wow. ganda. Ganda nung, ano, yung maestro. Uh, wow. Yes. Filipino rin ito, yeah. sir. <laughs> yeah. Galing, ha? Mm-hmm. At dami ng mga talents. Siguro ma'am sa marami pang mga hindi pa na discover na mga talents tayo. Yung nabanggit nyo kanina, hindi, hindi masyadong uh, wala pang nakapag-discover sa kanila. Pero marami pa tayo mga Filipino talents na talagang um, pwedeng globally competitive. Ang oh yeah. Talent. Yeah. Marami na tayo mga directors na nagdi-direct na ng mga Hollywood yeah. TV shows, marami na dyan. Na, mm. well, we have Maria Mora, we have also Isabel Sandoval. These are Phil Am Phil Am ladies, you know. And I'm really proud of them. Uh, they're breaking barriers. Yung ano niya, yung MIFF niya, uh, yan ang maging parang uh, stepping stone ng ating mga Filipino talents na uh, hindi pa na, na expose doon sa American audience. Galing. Galing na. Uh, I thank you for all your support for 
inviting me here so I can talk about it because we need all the support. We need the community to support yeah. us so they know that we're doing this for the Filipino filmmakers and Philippine cinema. Yeah. Yeah, ano, kita ko, Janet, yung ano mo, no? yung noble, ano mo eh. Uh, hindi lang, in fact, you're, you don't have to do this, no? Pero you're doing this, dahil nandiyan ka na eh. Nasa ere ka na, no? Uh, you're, you're in the midst of uh, excellence, no? And, uh, It's a labor of love po. It's a labor of love. I love cinema and I love helping Filipino talents. Kaya kami rin, pag nagsusulat kami, we always highlight the Filipino talent, you know. Galing, Because galing. Nasa puso, um, Filipino yeah. pa rin. <laughs> very heartwarming. Very heartwarming and very noteworthy. Thank you. Galing. Thank you very much. Galing. Meron pa tayong isang video. I think uh, entry din ata to, ang rewind. Yes, it's an entry. Uh, yes. Ayon. Ito na panood ko, pero ayan. Tingnan natin. Eh sa'yo ma'am, the, ngayon wala ka pa ang bet kung... <laughs> so, Ay, hindi ko pwede sabihin. Siyempre, hindi na pwede sabihin. sabihin. Oo, oh, oh, ano, ano. Malalaman nyo sa February 2. <laughs> uh. Alam mo dad, sinabi ko kay Lods to make your wish come true. Oo, oh, sabi niya. Sure, Austin, it will come true daw. Sinangwaling. Galing. Ito. Ito, blockbuster din to dito. Yeah. <laughs> Ang dami nanood nito eh. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ding Dong and Marian, ha? Huh? Yan. Ang sa... Ano pa? Uh, Tanan natin. Ang uh, gari. Ano yan? Ano to? Ang isa to? Sige, ituloy niyo. Malyari. Malyari. Yeah. Curious din ako eh. Ano ba talaga nangyari doon sa bahay na yun? Tsaka, ano po bang kwento ni Father Severino Maliari? Ba't siya nakatambak dito? Ano hindi display ko? Paris Priest na pumatay ng limang pito na tao. Paano nagsimula ang lahat? Makinig ka, itong susunod na dalawang rolyo ang magpapatunay sa natuklasan ko. Importante rin ito sa'yo, Jonathan. Alam mo ba kung anong year nga na? 我们就是个鬼，我们就是个鬼。OK，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对
na tinutunayan oh. ni uh, Kiano Latian tinuro sa kanya ng mga Pilipino martial artists here in LA. Akala ko si Jackie Chan di pala oh. <laughs> <laughs> mga yeah, Pilipino first nila. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kasi magaling ang ano pero yeah. <laughs> oh, ang sequencing din eh. Uh, ano din talaga yung, yung creative. Pero man, maraming may may meron may, ding mga nagsasabi na mga Filipino films are so predictable. O di wag natin gawing predictable. <laughs> Kaya ang ang sinasabi ko importante ang story, 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 story. Pag nanood ka kunarin ng uh, Korean films, hindi mo ma-predict predict. Nagbabago-bago ang story, yung, ang, ang hindi mo mahulaan, which is also a good thing, you know? Because yeah. pag ako, how many films have I seen already? Pag medyo na ko na, ay alam ko na ang story nito. Nawawala yung interest ko. So wow. we should really develop stories and which is really very important to develop very interesting stories. Kaya sinasabi ko story, story, story. Indian movies are also yes. uh, improving, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah Marami so... na rin actors na nanalo na Indians. Oo. So, ibig sabihin, ma'am, pag sina- sa story kasi, nandun yun sa mga script writers. The burden now is on the script writers. Yes. And that's why I'm also proud na here in LA, there's a group called CAPE that is uh, developing all these writers and the Golden Globe gives uh, what is uh, grants money to this association and develop writers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, na. Uh, Ako pa rin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can see you. Kami ang uh, nawala. Oh, oh. Yun mag- maganda talaga dun, ma'am, kasi uh, I-, I think ang trainings din, no? marami naman siguro. Like in the provinces, I'm sure there are a lot that's interested into uh, filmmaking. Si Janet na lang. Ipa- yeah. Yeah. Pero, okay. Kailangan ma-develop yan yung mga bata. Inspire natin sila na to keep on writing and be part of uh, these projects.
kuha ng camera, naka-off man. Yeah. Hello? Hi, yeah. ma'am. Hello? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, we're, we're very sorry. Uh, okay. Guru, may, may slight hits lang, but uh, yeah, I'm glad you did not turn off your computer, so, Rodel. Uh, I'm sure you, you were wondering already. <laughs> now, Janet, uh, uh, I know it's very late already, your time. And uh, I'm sorry we kept you uh, no, awake uh, at this hour of the night. No, perhaps we can ask you to uh, give your parting statement. Uh, uh, and uh, hindi lang dito sa for our audience here in Cagayan de Oro, but anywhere else in the world, please, Janet. Yes, I'd like to thank you guys first of all for having me here and to be able to share my platform with you guys and. I hope all the Filipinos' uh, children who are listening here uh, should learn uh, to continue being passionate about your dreams because dreams do come true. Wow. Yeah. Galing, galing. Attorney? Yeah, Sel, um, you know, Jeanette, uh, every, at the end of every episode, uh, my yeah. role is to give my, uh, my thoughts on the episode. No? And, you know... Uh, uh, you have given us uh, tremendous uh, hope and boost, no? Uh, for not only for Philippine movies, but also for the Filipino nation. Imagine through, you know, countries are known uh, not just in the history books, but also through movies, and especially now where uh, everybody has access almost to everything no and what you're doing is uh giving filipino movies and the filipino nation a chance to be exposed to north america and we are very very grateful good luck ho sa yo janet and to thank you Rupert. very much po. thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you very much good night good night thank you